Again, Happy Easter to you. Today, the Gospel speaks of when two disciples were walking down a road, and this is after Jesus had resurrected, he joined them on their journey, but they did not recognize who he was. So while Jesus walked with the two disciples, Jesus took the opportunity to explain about what he went through and why he had to suffer and go through what he did so that he would rise in glory. And they listened to him, but still did not recognize who he was, even though they understood what he was trying to tell them. So they invited him to join them for dinner, and he obliged them. And during dinner, Jesus took the bread and started to break it, and it was at that moment they recognized who he was, and he disappeared. So when some people read this gospel, they wonder why the two disciples didn't recognize Jesus. And there are many answers out there. And one of the most popular ones is that when Jesus rose from the dead, that he, and he was transfigured, that his body was very different from what his earthly body was like before he died and rose so that they weren't able to recognize him yet. And I believe that that's definitely a possibility. But I'd like to add another possibility. I think it may be possible that they were so grief-stricken and blinded by their grief after Jesus' death, and they were so overwhelmed with emotion that they were unable to see who he really was. And it's interesting, as grief-stricken as they were, Jesus walked with them, and he explained to them from the Holy Book. And while they understood what he was telling them and agreed with him and said, Oh, yes, you're right. At the same time, they were calm, and they managed to get to dinner and have feel a little more reassured and relaxed, and then they were able to recognize him in that last instant. And I think that parallels what happens in our lives, too. That oftentimes we're faced with so much chaos and crises in our life, and we're so, uh, we feel like, you know, God isn't with us until things tend to get better, we calm down, get our emotions in check, and then we look back and realize, wow, God was still there with us, helping us. But we were so overloaded emotionally that we weren't able to see it. And I think it's important that when that happens to us, we need to read the Bible. Because it's just like what happened with Jesus that he explained to the disciples. The Bible reminds us that God is still with us and that he loves us and that we're his precious children. And that we need to calm down. And that it's also important that we go to Mass where we can meet Jesus in the Eucharist. Just like when he broke bread, they recognized him, and he disappeared at that moment because he wanted us to know that the bread was his body and life. So when we meet Jesus in the Eucharist, it's because he is, he's with us then once we meet him in the Eucharist. Thank you, and God bless you.